Hey guys, it's Dylan, and this is going to be my Season 42 Rhythm Rumble Tour Pass review. Now, this Tour Pass is kind of different from the last few that we've had, and the fact that's uh, actually uh, kind of a few things here. We go ahead and take a look at the song lineup. You'll notice something interesting. Quite a lot of rock this season. Quite a lot of rock indeed. There's actually, I think, six songs this season, five or six that fall under the category of rock. Um, some of them having multiple genres, of course, but that's pretty cool. We haven't had a lot of rock in a while, not to mention the extreme is actually rock as well. It's also a chaos Bay song, which is their third song in the game, and their second extreme, which puts them in the same category along with, like, uh, Aphyxian, and having two, um, standard extremes and two deluxe extremes, except chaos Bay also has that standard hard two billion with its deluxe extreme as well. Uh, but taking a look at the other song picks, we got the, uh, we got the Post Malone song that we were kind of promised, I guess, with, you know, I thought it was going to be put in an event, but no, they decided to throw it into a uh, season pass, which I'm not complaining about, actually. I think it's pretty good here. Uh, and I like country. You guys probably know that, but uh, that's always good to see. We finally got some Limp Biscuit, which is actually awesome. Uh, glad to see that here, finally. We got, uh, in my opinion, the more iconic Offspring song. Uh, and I still think they're missing one one really popular Offspring song. Let's see if you guys can guess that in the comments below. Then we have this song, which is kind of like the uh, the slow poppy song. This is like the U2 song of the season, I guess. Uh, we have the staple EDM generic song. Uh, in this case, Re Revenger here, in my opinion, is probably the worst song song-wise of the season. Uh, very generic, kind of gives off some War Machine vibes, but even more generic somehow. Uh, then we have the Return of Fallout Boy, which is awesome and with a absolute banger song at per usual probably my favorite song of the season at least uh then we have possibly one of the most goofiest songs uh ever evil twin which just the premise of the song itself is insane i love it uh, but uh it, it's all right it's an all right song uh then we have a lit song finally again like we're getting a lot of names here that we haven't seen before and needed a lot of and here we are uh, so yeah, the song lineup this season is looking very healthy. Uh, but if we go ahead and take a look at the cosmetics here, uh, we'll go ahead and scroll down here and take a look at the banners first. Uh, this season we had four high detail banner, um, banners. As you can see, in previous seasons, the first two banners are usually some, like, generic patterns. Uh, whereas this one, we got, we got high def banners on all four of them. They all look sick. Like, I'm not kidding you. These banners look awesome. Now, even though they look awesome, of course, I'm going to be sticking to my classic banner. Uh, I'm not going to be changing that anytime soon. But then we get to the emote. I don't know what the thought process behind this emote was. Um, <laughs> it's a it's a it's a cat thingy wearing headphones. As you can see, the animation for it, it kind of has like a little tweak moment where it like shakes its head, and then it just like starts nodding back and forth. I I, I, I just, it's definitely their most unique animated emote so far uh you can tell that they're starting to kind of branch out with their emotes here as you can see with the pinata and then this like i don't know where they're going with the emotes but it's it's strange it's it's definitely strange uh now before we start this i actually want to check something how many post malone songs do we have in the game right now let me just look up post malone here not counting the sam felt song we have one two three four five six seven that i think that puts them in line with killers doesn't it damn post Malone kind of on top right now uh but anyways let's go ahead and get into the gameplay of the season starting off with evil twin um this is a standard hard has a deluxe extreme that i guess has become a bit uh infamous i guess or notorious for being difficult i guess we'll see when we get that but for now we have the standard a rock song
interesting chart. Uh, considering it's famous now for being a very difficult uh, deluxe extreme, uh, the difficulty does not definitely does not show in the standard. So I assume they use a different cut. But um, yeah. Uh, I mean, it's all right. It's one of the rare songs that ends with a uh, micro like that. Kind of a small end, uh, end tile there. But uh, I, I think Char was okay. I like the jacks towards the end. I think that there was kind of a die. I mean, it wasn't very creative, but there's not a lot to work with in that song. So I, I give them credit for what they did there. Uh, but yeah, I mean, it's okay. Probably not a standard heart I would come back to. And ooh, that's a lot of cards to collect. I do believe there is a deluxe bundle in the shop right now. So I might have to uh, get my hands on that. Uh, but next up we have Post Malone, I Have Some Help. This also has Morgan Wallen in it, if you didn't know. It kind of cuts off there, but let's go ahead and get this going. I've heard the song before. I, this. I think the song's pretty good, so hopefully it carries in the chart as well. Also, we haven't had a country song in the game in a long time. Like, I'm thinking about it. Might have been since, like, 9 to 5. Big censorship gap. That was good. That was really good. I'm glad they fully charted that end bit. Because if they didn't, I probably would have been a little bit upset. But that left me on a high note, I'd say. Didn't break 300 notes, but I'd say, honestly, it felt kind of short. Which I think might be that contributor. Um, but other than that, I mean, it played well. There's not much more they could have done. So I think they fulfilled that song, essentially. Uh, so yeah, I'm, I'm happy about that. Did I mention the season doesn't have any normal deluxes? Uh, so that's, that's an upside. Hey, there's that bundle. We'll definitely be getting to that bundle uh, before the end of this video. Now we have the Teddy Swims song. I, I felt like I've heard the song before, but uh, I'm not exactly sure if I'm familiar with it. But uh, it's a normal. Probably be pretty easy. Like I said, probably the U2 song of the season. It's not a bad song or anything, it's just, just not a huge fan of these slow songs. A little too slow for me. Well, really the only like song I think is bad this season is probably Revenger. there but there's swipes so it doesn't really matter
they're really using the they're using doubles with swipes next to them a lot more in double or in doubles in normals now which I think is uh, I think it's part of the uh, evolution of charts because at a certain point you kind of run out of new ideas uh, and charts start looking very samey samey so I think that that was kind of something they've been implementing in a lot of the newer normals to kind of uh, differentiate the patterns there and I appreciate it uh, I don't think it's too hard for a normal like a lot of people might argue that that kind of note shouldn't be included in a normal chart, but I think in a, in a slow environment pace like that, I don't think it's a big deal. I really don't. Uh, but next up we have the extreme of the season, Money by Chaos, Chaos Bay and We Are Pigs. Uh, and this song, I, I don't know about it. I've, I've taken a listen. It sounds like it might not be too bad. I guess we'll just see. Double much? Okay. Wow, okay. I definitely think that truck got better and better as it went on. It kind of started off a bit repetitive because of that, uh, well, it started off with a very easy verse of vocals, and then you had that, uh, very repetitive, uh, double spam in the chorus. But it definitely evolved itself. In 650 notes, it didn't feel like it, but I guess the doubles kind of add up there. Uh, but yeah, I'm, I'm conflicted on this one. I'm... I'm not satisfied with it. I don't think it's a great extreme. And I, I, I mainly I think it's the song's fault. I don't think they should have picked that. Well, I don't think it's the song's fault. I think it's their fault for picking the song as the extreme. I don't think this is a very good song for an extreme. They probably would have made a good uh, standard hard uh, deluxe extreme like, uh, like a 2 billion case. Uh, but it was their choice and, you know, I'll let them make that one. It, it played alright. But next up we have the Lit song, My Own Worst Enemy. This song, I've heard the song plenty of times and it is one of my favorites. I do like this song a lot. Interesting undercharting. Really weird undercharting.
Cool. Ah, he said it. Oh, that was an awesome chart. That ended so well, too. I, I like the... I, you know, I said it was weird undercharting at the beginning, but it really progressed into something better. You could tell that the, the undercharting got less and less, and at the end there, you got that full charting, pretty much. And yeah, 323, it makes sense. It was a good chart. They, they did well with that one. That was a really solid one. Yeah, I, 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 don't, I don't really have much more to say on that. Uh, it's a very good song with a very good chart, and I am thoroughly satisfied with that one. Nice, Nicely done. Nicely done. Uh, but next up we have Pretty Fly for a White Guy, the probably, probably the most, if not, well, like, probably, like, the top two, at least, uh, most popular Offspring song. So, I'm surprised this wasn't the first one they added. What I'm not surprised, however, by is that it is a normal. I'm not surprised. We'll see how it pans out. It's kind of quiet. dance actually Dude, that was, they got surprisingly dense there at the end I'm a uh, again very happy with the chart uh, the normals are popping off this season uh, and that had 350 that had more than the last one well damn yeah, and I, yeah, 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 that was good, that was very good, uh, again, the progression on the, uh, undercharting there worked really well, actually, uh, for a normal, so good, good shit on that, uh, next up we have Revenger by Fool, not to be mistaken with Tool, uh, this song, like I've said, is my least favorite song of the season, so I'm not expecting anything too crazy for the chart, but maybe I'll be surprised. Doubt it, but we'll see.
Hill. Ooh, I was scared with those those swipes that are going into the stair there at the end. So yeah, uh, I definitely think the chart carries in this situation. I don't think the chart was fantastic, but I don't blame them considering the song doesn't give much to work with. It's a very very uh, monotone song. It doesn't really have a lot of uh, sounds going on other than just ba 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 ba. You know, it's it's, it's very uh, samey samey. Uh, but yeah, I, the only thing I didn't really like with that char was those, uh, swipes that were going back into the staircase at the end there. It was kind of sketchy, not really fun to, uh, have to be scared about hitting those. Um, but yeah, I mean, other than that, uh, I think I'm gonna go ahead and grab me some unlimited, uh, yeah, I'm probably gonna want unlimited play, aren't I? Alright, well, I'm gonna go ahead and purchase some unlimited play, and I'll be right back with you guys. Alright, we got our one week of unlimited play, and we move on to the Limp Biscuit song, Rollin' Air Raid Vehicle. Uh, and this song just sounds chaotic, <laughs> so this, this, this one will probably be fun. Uh, we'll see. So far the hards haven't been anything special, so I'm hoping this one, uh, at least sticks out. Wipes. This song's awesome. This is awesome. Some of the rhythms in that were kind of wonky. I was having to like really think about that there at the end there. Um, dude, this, this, first of all, this album cover is crazy looking. I don't even know what to think about it, but this song is just oh man, I love it. it it's, it's it's good in a weird way. I love that. Uh, there you go, Limp Biscuit. Um, <laughs> their debut, and we get this, and I love it. That's pretty cool. Uh, probably my favorite hard chart and song of the season. So that's pretty cool. Uh, and I do believe we have one song left, and it's Thanks for the Memories, or Thanks for the Mummers, by Fall Out Boy. Now, this is Fall Out Boy's third song of the game, and, well, uh, we can all assume that Dance dance will probably have a uh, hard deluxe as well, so, you know, the, uh, Fall Out Boy will probably end up having three deluxe hards. But the song's awesome. You know what? You know what this song gives off the vibes of. Uh, I write sins, not tragedies. Dude, this is already dance. It's 
surprised they didn't make this a standard horror, honestly. This one's already dense. Dude, this is literally I write since not strategies. What the hell? A one night stand, they work. Oh, is that what this song's about? <laughs> My bad. Dude, this shirt is dense as shit. This definitely has like three upper 300s. Dude, that was a dense ass normal. Holy shit, dude. That's gotta have like upper 300s, I, I assume. Yeah, 369 notes. Holy. And that was a really good normal chart. Dude, this song is so good though. Good lord. That's crazy. Wow. And there you have it, guys. That is the uh that is the season. Um now obviously before I close out this video, I am gonna go ahead and claim some of these deluxe cards and you know, I'll, I'll save the cutting, and I'll actually just open them live for you here. Uh, actually, I lied. There's a lot of cards here. I'm going to go ahead and cut to that. All right, this is going to be our first box of the video uh, with a couple more to go. Um, let's see what we get here. Hey, we did get the extreme. We'll take it. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and finish opening up these cards. We might get another box just from these cards alone, but if not, I'm going to buy that bundle. So we'll see. So I could you not, I got actually edged out of that pass. I'm at 95 cards, so we'll have three more boxes here. I just got to purchase this uh, deluxe bundle real quick, so give me a sec. All right, here we are. Should be three deluxe boxes and a half, which is nice. All right. Come on, give me Evil Twin. That is not Evil Twin, but we'll take, we'll take Fallout Boy probably. You'd figure out of three boxes, I'll probably, yeah, I'll say out of three boxes, I'll probably get it offered to me. And then here we'll take Limp Biscuit, definitely. Nice. Okay, so that's a pretty good lineup. I'm not even gonna lie. I'm not mad about that at all. And we got an extra. T t hey, we're back up to a week again. We got 20 minutes tagged onto our unlimited play. Uh, but yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, turn my volume up down to about a half so I can get to talk to you guys real quick because I do have to talk about some stuff. Um, so first of all, I have a I have like three uh, gameplay videos from last season that I just haven't gotten to uploading yet. Uh, I'm probably gonna post them anyways, even though it's a bit late, um, just for, just to have them on the channel. They're, they're first impression videos, they're all site read DPs, um, so I figure you guys might want to see that. Um, but like, it includes extreme and, you know, come up and stuff, so I figured I should post this anyways, but I want to talk about, um, I haven't really got to posting some of the unique content I mentioned previously, and that's the kind of stuff I do want to be uploading. Uh, unfortunately with uh, my work and school right now I just don't have a lot of time to be doing that kind of stuff uh, so it's gonna be scarce uh, scarce and sp sparse sparse and few in between so you guys are gonna have to bear with me that stuff like that might not come out as frequently as you'd like um at least not right now uh, until I get everything kind of situated and figured out because everything in life right now is kind of chaotic and I'm trying to figure out everything and get everything kind of wrapped together and uh, organized but in the meanwhile of course I had to get my season review video done that is something I could do very easily uh, as well as some gameplay videos I'll probably be recording these uh, these charts very soon so I'm sure you guys will be happy to see those and I'll try and get some first impressions of these um, obviously I have seen the chart for Evil Twin, I'm not going to lie about that. I have seen it. I've seen videos of it. I know what to look out for, and I have a game plan for it. So, hopefully I can get that on video. Um, but yeah, that is the Season 42 pass. What do you guys think about it? Leave your um, opinions down in the comments below. I'd love to hear it. 
What's your favorite song of the season? What's your favorite chart of the season? If you did purchase it, uh, feel free to let me know. Um, as always, I'm, I'm, I'm curious about that kind of stuff. And I also want to start doing past giveaways again. I think that that would be fun. Uh, and now that I have a job, I can kind of afford to give out, you know, one or two passes every season, I think. Probably, probably at least one. I, I think I can give out at least one pass. I'm not going to give out a pass this time, unfortunately. Um, but I think next pass I'll probably give out one. Just to, just to help someone out. Um, and if you haven't seen, I've done past giveaways on my channel before. It's really simple. Uh, you can just comment, like, and subscribe, and it enters you into the giveaway, and I will just randomly select a user, and that's pretty much it. Uh, super easy to win, and then all you have to do is give over, this is, this is the part that might cause some people to not be so comfortable with it, is that you do have to give over your account info so I can get into your account and actually purchase the pass for you, but I promise, uh, you know, my rule of thumb is as soon as I'm on your account, all I do is purchase the pass and then log out and remove your account from my Supercell thing, so I don't keep anyone's accounts on my device, uh, and I send screenshots of that, so... I, and obviously I'd get in trouble if I stole anyone's account, so, you know, it wouldn't look too good, and it would not be a, a morally good thing to do, so I'm, I'm not going to be trying to be out there stealing accounts, but anyways, yeah, I think pass giveaways would be a good idea, um, again, but, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it, hopefully you guys enjoyed the review video, um, again, I have some more gameplay videos to come, and I will see you guys in the next one, adios.